Hello, I'm Ahmad Azim Baharudin. I'm a first year student of medical physics. I'm the script writer of this video. Hello, I am My name is Mohamed Farid Ifali bin Ahmad Ali, and I am a first year pure physics student. My role is editor in this video. Hi, and Assalamualaikum. My name is Mohamed Azmal Hakim bin Hazul. I'm the first year pure physics student from the School of Physics, and I'm appointed as a presenter in this video. Hello guys, today I'm going to tell you about Electrostatic Wind Energy Converter also known as Ericon. Do you guys know about Renewable Energy? Renewable Energy comes from natural sources that can be constantly replenished every day. The most popular Renewable Energy are Tidal Energy, Thermal Energy, Solar Energy, Hydro Energy and last one is wind energy so let us focus on wind energy as we can found this energy in our daily life every day there are several ways to produce energy from wind for example we can use wind turbine to convert kinetic energy to mechanical energy the question is why the wind turbine is no longer effective this day can you guys imagine that the wind turbine caused the death of birds and bats every single year? According to the US Fish and Wildlife Service, they estimate between 140,000 and 500,000 birds deaths occurs at wind farm each year. Therefore, if there is any problem, the wind turbine requires a great maintenance. One of the disadvantages using the wind turbine is it can cause headache and nausea. This is because the infrasound sun wave is just below what the ear can actually detect. Is there a way to produce energy using wind without the conversion of mechanical energy? The answer is yes. This is because Ericon used electrostatic method. What is electrostatic method? Electrostatic method is a method to separate particles of different electrical charges. And when possible, it also separates particles of different sizes. When the particles of different polarity are brought together into electric field, then they will follow different motion of trajectories and can be cut separately. Okay, now I'm going to explain to you guys how Ericon works. There are two terminals, which is positive terminals and negative terminals. And we use water droplets as a medium or an object to carry the positive charge. In physics, we know that the positive charge will attract to the negative terminal. Then, the renewable energy, which is the wind energy, will blow or push the positive charge against the electric field. As a result, this will increase the potential energy of the charged particles. After that, the high potential energy of the charged particles then will be collected at the charging system insulated in Earth. And we can use one component system where the charging system are combined together with the insulated collector. This is because to increase the efficiency of the Ericon. The shapes of Ericons are circle, rectangular, and square. What are the advantages of using Ericon? First, we can place the Ericon on top of the building since there is no moving part and smaller in size compared to the wind turbine which exceeds 400 feet in height. Next, Ericon is less in vibrations, noise and no intermittent shadows. We move to the disadvantages of using Ericon. First, as we know, Ericon uses water droplets as the medium or an object to carry the positive charge. So, if there is no water, then the aircon cannot work properly. Last 
one, the technology still in nascent and are not efficient as the conventional wind turbine. Finally, it may be concluded that the wind energy is one of the most important energy to the world. We already make use of this energy, but our technology limits us. So, with this new advanced technology, we can make use of the wind energy with a better efficiency. When this technology is launched, the world will step into a new era that is better for the environment. That's all from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you.